Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. Today I want to introduce you to a fun pattern tool called Repper. Repper is a online uh, tool that you can use to create um, some cool patterns. And so uh, in this video, I just want to um, introduce you to this tool. I'm an affiliate for Repper. In the description, I will leave my affiliate link if you want to check it out. When you click on an affiliate link and I decided to make a purchase, I could receive a commission off of it. Um, if you find that you, if you found this video helpful and want to use my affiliate link to check it out, um, thanks. Uh, thanks for supporting this channel. Um, let's go ahead and dive in and check out this tool and I will show you how you can uh, use it to create uh, seamless patterns. Uh, Repper does offer a um, a limited free trial where you can get uh, free access for uh, 14 days. It does have um, some restrictions on how many um, images you can upload to try to use it or how many images you can download. Um, but it is nice to try it out for free. Um, and I, again, I'll leave my link in the description below. So inside of Repper here, you can create um, a collection. So just scrolling down, I have a number of different collections that I've created um, with different source images. So let's just go ahead and create a new collection here. Um, you can give your collection a name um, and then we'll just go ahead and click create collection here. The way that Repper works is it takes a source image and it repeats it in different pattern um, styles. So um, in this case, you can upload your own image or you can use the built-in image search feature, which um, connects it to um, Unsplash, which is a helpful resource that you can access um, high quality images that are free to use for commercial use. And so um, from here you can scroll down and see um, various images here. You can type in a, a search term and search here or you can just kind of click to see if you find anything um, that you like. So under the abstract art tab, I'm going to uh, just demonstrate, let's try this uh, first one here. It's got a lot of different colors, um, a lot of different kind of texture to uh, this style here. So we see our image here. And then uh, what you'll notice is we have these different tilings. So if we click the drop down menu, we have our um, base tilings, they have some advanced tilings, and then what they call seam tilings here. So if we click on, let's try this honeycomb. This is a very um, popular pattern styling. You see that it presents us with a um, pattern, a repeat pattern based on the defined area here. You'll notice that we have a fixed aspect ratio selected here, but you can always unselect it and then you can change um, up the um, kind of the overall space that you are uh, selecting from. And so you can play with something large, which takes on a lot of the colors, or you can make it smaller. So we just get a few colors um, in the design here. And so um, you can move it around here and you find, if you find something that you like, you can click this uh, place plus icon and it will save a snapshot of it. So we can kind of play around. Here's some more, maybe go with this one, it's a little bit, a little tribal-esque um, in style here. And then if you wanna get back to that original one, it will go back to that snapshot, um, just like the snapshot here. And so what's nice about this tiling is you can click on here and it will show you a preview of all the different um, tiling examples. Um, this one's fun here, this cross weave one creates this fun uh, repeating there. So if you like this one, you can save it as well, or you can continue to um, kind of play with the parts of the image that it um, selects. So we can save this one. We like that blue um, in different areas there. So there are different tilings that you can play with. You can even rotate it if you want. Um, 
And the edges down here, um, this is the size of our image and based on the area in which we selected, this is the size of our tile. And there are uh, three different views right now. We are looking at a surface view, but you can look at the individual tile view. And then it also offers a 3D view where you can actually see it previewed on uh, products. And if we click on here, we can see uh, different style products here. So you can select a dress. Um, or different things like that. And what's even cool about this is you can adjust the pattern with it in 3D mode so you can see it on the, um, the mock-up here. So let's go back to that cushion so we can see a little bit of a bigger view. But it's definitely a cool feature where you can get like in real time, you can see what that pattern looks like on an actual um, product. So I think this is a very cool um, view here. If you find one you like, you can again save that snapshot. And then it also has this dream mode. So if we click on this dream mode, you will see that it is automatically changing the, um, the pattern here. It's just kind of moving automatically along this image and changing up the pattern. And if you find that one you like, you can click that plus icon and it will save it there for you. And quick stop to that. And then you do have options to change um, under the selected motion. You can increase the speed of it so it moves a little bit faster. Um, you can have it change the tiling variations. We can even do an image variation, um, surface motion here. Um, I haven't played too much along with all of these here, um, but it's definitely a cool feature here. So we'll go ahead and click stop there. So let's jump back to our surface view. And then we are going to click into effects. And there are several different effects that you can play with around here. You can adjust colors, the brightness, the contrast, saturation. You can even make it black and white. Um, there's a cool duotone effect where you can adjust the colors of the duotone here. And then um, we have this seam border where it will create a um, border along the edge of the tiling in which you can actually control uh, the width of it here. You can control the color of it. And then um, given, depending on the pattern type, you get this tile border um, here as well. So in this case we can play with the width and then you can also play with the overall roundness of this tile border. So let's play with this one but let's change our actual pattern style. Um, let's try honeycomb here. Maybe we find something different there. So that one's kind of cool with that um, pattern border there under our effects or our tile border there. And then there's also some surface effects here. So if we turn on metamorphosis, is it can create this like morphing look and then you can change between like a circular or a linear and you can adjust um, how much uh, this, whether it's horizontal or vertical, and it can just create some pretty cool um, effects. We can get this horizontal mirror the vertical mirror and there are just different things that you can play with here for the metamorphosis. We have a surface border if you want to get an outline around your um, surface space. We have a vignette where it creates that kind of dark um, edge effect, vignette effect. You can have a gradient effect where it changes the uh, color of it. You can adjust the colors. You can change the amount. Um, we can adjust the rotation of this here. And then you can change the type of blend mode and how it uh, affects it there. And then also we have this halftone effect where it creates those dots. Let's make our dots a little bit bigger. Um, there. So Definitely a lot of different things that you can play around with to create these fun um, pattern effects here. So, And then you can easily export it. 
So right now we are in surface mode. So um, right now we have a fit preview area, but you can always um, change the size of it. So if you wanted to save um, digital scrap of paper directly from it, we'd go 3,600 pixels by uh, 3,600 pixels. And then you want to set your DPI to 300 DPIs. And then if you want it to be um, smaller, we could increase the repeats here if you want it to look a bit smaller on the digital paper. And then um, for file type, um, you can select PNG or JPEG. Um, typically for digital scrapbook paper, I save it into JPEG. So you can um, save it to a digital scrapbook paper directly from Repper here. Or you could choose to, um, you can um, export the actual um, tile size and then um, use other programs to, to create your digital paper or um, take this tile a swatch and upload it to say a pattern website like Spoonflower or a print on demand site to actually sell these patterns. And so um, under maximum, you'll see your maximum available size of this pattern. Um, you can also hit custom to kind of change it if you want to change the size of it there. Uh, one thing that I will note that um, when you are playing with the patterns here and you decide to rotate something, so if we go to our surface and we decide to rotate this pattern, in this case um, honeycomb isn't a great example. Maybe we change it to Cairo here. Um, that's our angle, we rotate it. Um, what you'll notice is that the um, tile will stay the original. So in this case, we have our kind of our fatter side here, skinnier side here. We'll notice on our surface, that is not what it looks like from a, like the tile repeat. And so um, just make a note of that, that when you change the angle, but you want to export it as a tile, it will not export the angled version of that tile. So sometimes I don't rotate it because I want to be able to export the um, actual tile related to the pattern that I see here. So uh, just keep that in mind there. So here on the side, we can see our overview of our current collection of the um, tiles that we have saved. Um, you can give it a more official name. You can give it a description, add tags. Under this um, organized section, you can see the different collections that I've created here. And so if we click on this all collections button, you see this view of the different collections. So let me click into one where I created a source image. So let's try this uh, black and white. Let's just view the collection here. We can see uh, various um, patterns that I created in this collection. If we just click on one of them here, this was an image that I created in Photoshop and uploaded into Repper here. I basically created a red background and then I created a bunch of different white versus black circles and I randomly um, positioned them on the canvas and then I exported it and imported it here into Repper to um, just create my own source file uh, versus using one of the ones from Unsplash. And you can just play with the various um, different shapes and different patterns. Again, you can see all the different patterns here and how um, this source file looks for uh, the different patterns as well. So this is definitely a pretty cool tool. Um, if you love patterns, definitely check this tool out. I think Repper is an awesome, awesome tool. Um, I love creating patterns in Photoshop, but this is a great tool as well. Um, and it can help you create some unique um, repeats that um, could be difficult to achieve in Photoshop. Um, so definitely check this out. And again, anything that you create within Repper, you can use for print on demand. You can sell it as digital scrapbook paper. Um, it definitely, um, there's great possibilities and uses with this cool tool. So um, again, in the description, I will leave uh, my affiliate link if you want to check out this product. I think it's a great uh, resource and tool. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Uh, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.